So here's the design in 3D. And so you can see I even, I even drew the gimbal on here, you know, put the Hero 3 and all kind of stuff so I could visually see how much room do I have for my control board, how much room do I have for my FPV camera. Okay, so um, we had Chris Miller back in the first semester, and um, poor Chris, he had to move back to Montana. Um, but we are blessed to now have Brad Tallis, Mr. T, um, who's going to be helping us out this semester, and he brings a, uh, a lot of experience and um, expertise in um, scratch build multi rotors. So it's, um, it's going to be a huge, huge advantage for the kids now to be able to pick his brains before they leave. And so, kind of like what Chris had to do, he had to kind of earn his stripes. And so, Brad is going to have to earn his stripes in front of a, a very tough crowd. So, let's see how it goes. That's awesome. Yeah, the table is. I'm, I'm not touching the stick hardly at all right now. That's awesome. Yeah. You should show us some tilting back and forth action so that gimbal. Oh, oh, that's sick. Oh. Oh. Now that is on it. Yeah. <laughs> that's sweet. Oh, that's I'm gonna ask him how about the LED Oh, I know. But Ethos is also going up pretty high. I brought my, I got mine up like 40 feet in the air. That's not 30 feet. No. Huh? That's not 30 feet. Wow. Oh, I got mine up like 40 feet in the air. Your battery died. Can you turn on and off the lights? Yeah. One of the things I try and do is do a a perfect circle around me, kind of keeping the tail in. Good practice. Uh, that one wasn't that good. But. Are you a pincher or a thumb? thumb. I'm a thumb. Yay. 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 I'm a thumb. I'm a thumb. across everybody so everybody stay quiet. Okay. Get a good shot here. I know you're cold, Tyler. Just hang in there. <laughs> what a save. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, neither are we. The butt. Yeah, we're the same way. Awesome. Yeah. That's my yeah. you keep filming. Awesome. Well, hey, that was awesome. Nice job. He's earned his stripes. <laughs> He's earned his stripes. Cool. That's too cool. So, something interesting. I built my own CNC machine. You guys know what a CNC machine is? Yeah. Yeah. So, so all these plates here, all this kind of stuff, and even um, this guy here, uh, I cut out on my CNC machine. It's just a home built. Uh, machine. So I also do a lot of woodworking as a hobby. 
Um, so what material is this? So that's called G10. It's basically oh, yeah. like that um, circuit board material. Yeah, that stuff so, is nice. Um, one second. Holy smokes! Look at his gimbal. And the control board, I don't know if you can see it in here, it's this little white board. It's called the Open Pilot Board. It's called a Revo. I started out with a KK2, which you see, I, this is, I parted this one out. <laughs> the reason I brought it in was because that front piece is all 3D printed. It held my GoPro, and on the other side of it was my FPV camera. Um, and this is the quad I learned on. It was a, a good quad. I cut these guys out of my, on my CNC machine. That, that's the original black one over there, and I had a a uh, semi uncontrolled landing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it broke a couple of the feet, so I just cut new ones. Um, so I learned on that one and then uh, built this one. And this board, it's called open source. And what that means is lots of people are helping design it and build it, make it better, writing the software for it, and stuff like that. And it is so cool. It is so much better than the KK2. The KK2. <laughs> um, just because. Like for example, this this next week they're coming out with called Ratitude mode. So it's rate mode and attitude. So you get it to the level you want and you hit a button on your radio and then you can fly around like an airplane and it's gonna stay at that exact same level. It's gonna stay oh, at wow. that same altitude basically. Um, so, uh, give me a second here. That thing is crazy. That's light. Yeah, uh, yeah, but then you put this sucker on. There. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's the only thing is it's it's a little bit heavy and it goes through the battery pretty. And this quick. is a a bot gimbal like you it bought. Is, this. Yeah. And the added weights in the back. I, I did that. It's actually designed for the Hero Three. It's balanced oh. for the Hero Three. A gimbal has to be really well balanced. See how that kind of falls forward and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I probably need to add like one more weight in the back um, because the motor doesn't want to have to work too hard. It's a sweet. Thing. Right. Um, so, here you go, guys. Oh, I'm gonna throw it this way. So, let me take a look at this computer um, here. So, here's the design in 3D. And so, you can see I even, I even drew the gimbal on here, you know, put the Hero 3 and all kind of stuff. So, I could visually see how much room do I have for my control board, how much room do I have for my FPV camera. All that kind of stuff, and I, I can even um, come in and position. Um, what program is that? So this is our 3D CAD software. This is oh. what NASA and those guys use. Yeah, so this is uh, Trio <laughs> Elements Direct, <laughs> what it's called. Um, but you can use the software for free, believe it or not. Um, they have a, uh, a free version where you're only allowed up to 60 parts at a time and stuff like that, and you wouldn't be able to bring it and print the parts off of it, but to learn and stuff like that, you can do it. Um, right. You can kind of see how you can, you know, quickly make changes and all kind of stuff. So, so basically, why why I brought this in is I wanted to show you. It's always good to have an idea, a design first. You know, you can kind of see. I need to make sure I had enough room for my uh, power distribution board. Here's where my FPV um, antenna is going to go on the back. I haven't installed it yet, but you can kind of see I put yeah, back holes there. back there for it and stuff, and then. Needed to make sure my battery would fit, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, I actually bought these arms. I'm really impressed that you guys printed your own. <laughs> I think that's really cool. Yeah. So, hey, you could for sure print your own arms. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, anyways, I don't know if you guys want to see it fly. Yeah, let's yeah. go see it fly. Yeah. Can you bring our so. pods? Yeah. Huh? Are we going to bring ours? Uh, we could. Let's go check it out.